everyone this is bhargav sutar and today we will discuss what is a graph and some of the types of the graph and this is the part 1 of this topic okay so in this today session we will discuss uh, how to construct a graph what is a graph and some of the types of the graph okay so let us discuss what is a graph so the de definition so let uh, v capital v be the non empty set of points and another set let capital e be set of lines between points okay then this ordered pair ve ve is known as graph now these uh, elements of the set v they are known as points or vertex or node or junction or o simplex or zero simplex okay and in same manner the elements of e are known as edge line arc branch or one simplex fine now uh, consider this type of graph so basically it is a graph uh, so you can see that how many vertices are there this uh, round or the circular portion that is called a vertices or nodes okay so how many vertices or the vertex set this v it is a vertex set so v equals to a b c d so that means this a this b c and d they are the vertex vertices and this whole v it is called a set of vertices or a vertex set in same manner this e that means edge so the edges so even that means this uh, edge it is joining a and c so even e2 e3 and e4 it is a set of edges or simply edge set fine now e3 equals to now where is e3 so e3 equals to d and c this ordered pair d and c it is called an edge fine and uh, d and c they are known as end vertices or the terminal vertices of this edge e3 fine and we can say that this c and c are adjacent vertices why because they are connected now the vertex d this vertex d and the edge a e3 they are incident they are called incident with each other fine so this is how a graph can be represented fine so these are the vertices these are the edges uh, suppose just consider this edge even so this uh, edge even equals to the ordered pair a and c now a and c they are called the end vertices or the terminal vertices of this edge even and we can say that this a this vertex a and c they are adjacent vertices and the vertex a it is incident with even okay fine so let us discuss types of graph so that is the first one what is a multi graph there are so many types of graphs so in a multi graph what is a multi graph in a multi graph more than one edge can join two vertices fine but no edge can join to itself so what does that mean so self loops are not permitted but parallel edges are allowed so consider this type of graph so how many vertices are there first a c uh, a b c d fine so total four vertices are there and uh, even e2 e3 a4 a5 so total five edges are there now it is a multi graph why because there is a parallel edge so between a and c so you can see that this e3 and e4 they are they are parallel edges and e3 and e4 both are connected to a and c fine so in the above graph this e3 and e4 they are parallel edges between a and c so that means uh, parallel edges are allowed in multi graphs but self loops are not allowed now let us discuss second type that is a pseudo graph now what is a pseudo graph so if self loop as well as parallel edges both are allowed so that means the graph is known as a pseudo graph fine so consider this type of graph so it is the same graph we have just added the self loops so that means this e7 and e6 so in this above graph this e6 and e7 they are the self loops okay so that means what is self loop this e7 uh, so c is relate uh, c is connected to itself uh, via an edge e7 now in same manner this e3 and e4 they are the parallel edges so that means uh, parallel edges and as well as uh, this uh, self loops are allowed so this type of graph it is called a pseudo graph now let us discuss what is a simple graph fine so uh, if no self loop and no parallel edges are present in the graph so then the graph it is known as a uh, simple graph so this type of graph can be the example of a simple graph why because we don't have any parallel edges as well as we don't have any self loop so it is a simple graph now see in the above graph no loop and parallel edges in present hence it is known as a simple graph now note now see in this throughout this chapter 
uh, we will refer a multigraph or a pseudograph as a graph simple as a graph and a graph without parallel edge and a self flow that we'll call a simple graph so whenever there is a, only a graph so that means uh, the loops and parallel edges are allowed and whenever uh, a simple graph whenever we have specified a simple graph so that means no parallel edges and no self loops are allowed now let us discuss what is a degree of vertex now see the number of edges incident with a vertex is known as degree of a vertex so let us discuss example so this is a graph okay so what will be the degree of a vertex now we will calculate one by one fine so just consider this b so how many edges are incident with this b so only one so that means degree of vertex is one uh, vertex b is one now degree of e that we'll discuss later now degree of d so how many edges are there this e2 and e5 so that means degree of d that is 2 now consider this c so how many edges are incident so that means this e3 e4 and this loop e7 fine so what will be the degree of c so how many edges are uh, incident so total four edges are incident so that means e3 e4 e5 and e7 now c so the degree of uh, this c will be what it will be this 3 plus you know, this self loop it is counted twice so the degree of a self loop will be 2 fine so that means 3 plus 2 5 so, so so the degree of c will be 5 now in same manner this a consider a so how many edges are incident to a so that means 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 so total 5 edges are there so e1 e2 e3 e4 so the degree of uh, that vertex that will 5 now e6 it is a self loop so we will count it twice so that means the degree of a it will be 6 so 4 plus 2 6 and this e so there is no edge incident to the vertex e so that means this degree of this vertex e that will be 0 okay so a vertex with degree 1 it is known as a pendant vertex now uh, what is a pendant vertex in this graph so you, as you can see that the degree of b it is 1 so that means this b it is a pendant vertex and a vertex with degree 0 it is known as a isolated vertex so here we have this e as isolated vertex why because it does not have any edges incident to uh, the vertex so it is a isolated vertex now let us discuss what is a weighted graph so a graph it is known as a weighted graph if some weight uh, for that means the positive uh, real number okay is assigned to each vertex or each edges or both so they are known as uh, weighted graph so consider this type of graph so here we have total four uh, vertices now see this three five four three five four one and two point five so that means we have assigned some weight to this edges okay so it is called a weighted graph now the use of this weighted graphs will be in the later sessions and it is very important okay so we will discuss in that sessions now let us discuss what is a finite graph and what is an infinite graph so a graph with finite number of vertices and finite number of edges just by its name uh, we can say that so finite number of vertices and finite number of edges is known as a finite graph and a graph which is not finite uh, so obviously it will it is known as an infinite graph so example so any example can be the example of the finite graph okay so here we have total how many vertices total four vertices so that means a finite number so finite number of vertices and how many edges are there total five edges are there so finite number of edges so that means it is the example of finite graph fine and you can create at your own fine now uh, we'll uh, discuss rest of the types of the graph in next session thank you